What's up YouTube? This is my e-bike. Watch me rip it apart and put it back together real quick. Ready? Go! So first thing I gotta do is I gotta take all this apart. Okay, so this is the gist of it. Blowing this part, incorporating this with all those batteries, that whole box is full. And this is gonna be like a spare pack for something because these batteries aren't as good. These are like crappy orange ones, not as good. Blue ones, Samsung, these ones are good. Now, time to cut. I'm just gonna cut it there, there, shoot. And down here, cut. Sweet. All right, so we should just have to clip and pull this off. And boom. There's one pack. And this pack is pretty much just kind of wedged in here. So if we sneak it out, bam. Pack number two. Okay, so next I'm going to cut all the tape and everything off these batteries. And there we go. Two naked battery packs. Now I'm gonna put all of these with those. Okay, now we're gonna unpack all these batteries. So yeah, we're adding these to this. We're getting rid of these ones. And there's like 196 or something like that right here. Correction, 192. That's what's going on the bike, 192. Okay, now to desolder the packs. So all my packs apart, these are all my batteries I'm using, these three piles. Not taking that apart right now because I don't have to. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all these and check the voltages of all of them and start sorting them out. You can see that or not. Now I'm going to separate them into like voltage packs. Okay, did that whole pile so far. Now I'm gonna go through these ones. This is the fun part. Okay, it's just went all through all my batteries. There's my 192 I'm using. So now we're gonna start making packs out of them. So just categorized all my lithium cells. Um, basically, 16 per cell, 12 cells. 48 volts, there's a 192 here. So now I'm gonna put them into a pack configuration. So this is how the batteries finally shake out. That's the new top pack. And this was the bottom pack. This was originally 60 cells also. Now this is the new one and it's a 128 cells total. It's a lot bigger and now I'm gonna put it on the bike. Okay, that's them all mounted. That's the configuration I'm gonna go with. Hangs down a little bit low, but that's how you fit 192 batteries on it. So now I'm gonna take them apart and solder it up. Okay, I changed it just a little bit. This is how it's gonna be. Just like that. Okay, packs are charging. This is the final pack. Um, I got one pack in the bike. Now I'm soldering some of these connectors on to make some links here and I don't like them so I'm changing this. There we go. I just wired them hard together. Much better. Okay, all the battery packs are done. Well, what I'm doing now is I'm filling, taped it up all around and I'm filling all these little holes with hot glue because it's pretty rigid. And I built this cool little skid plate. This is the very bottom of the pack um, in relation to the bike. So after everything's all done on the bike, I'll then glue that 
to the bottom of the pack, just for a little abrasion resistance. Okay, pack is all on the bike, all taped up. Got my fuse, and this is my power into the controller. And then all my controller wiring fit in this little area, which is pretty nice. Just like that, and I'll fit in there, so. I'm gonna tape it all up now. And done. That's it, that's how I ride it right there. Um, my packs are all taped up. That's how it's stained for now, cause I don't know how it's to mount it really. I want to eventually do like a fiberglass enclosure, like all custom and as low profile to the batteries as I can. Um, but for now, that's how it's gonna be. I've ridden it probably about 100 miles since it's been done and everything seems good. So another couple weeks, um, I'm gonna take this apart again, just to see how it's doing, cause I've been going off road a bit, um, bunch of stuff. So this is how I route it now. Uh, mounted this lower on the bars, got some longer screws, mounted it lower, got my tunes. Uh, what else, my lights. I got two lights on here, the Urban 350s. These things are great. Um, just search Urban 350s. They're like 50 bucks a piece on eBay, but they are the best light I found. And I ride at night a lot, and I ride fast, so these get down the road and see what's coming up. It's nice. Um, my custom brackets. I just bent some pieces of aluminum. Um, it's all hose clamped on there. It actually is really rigid. The tire doesn't hit, which is nice. And my low profile light there, I just kind of got a bunch of hair elastics on there actually holding it. Because that's the best thing. Goes on. Woo, party mode. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Because I'm going to be working on this thing a whole bunch more. Plus riding videos. You can see me thrashing this thing a bit in traffic. Out in the dirt at times. Down trails. Thanks for watching. See ya.